All right, this is page 39, part two. This video will be the bottom half of the page, starting on number 11. During February, Kevin will water his ivy every third day and water his cactus every fifth day. On which day date will Kevin first water both plants together? Well, what we're going to do here is, since it says on, on which date will he first water, we're looking for the least number in which um, those multiples um, are the same. So we're going to do the multiples of 3, because that's when he waters his ivy, and the multiples of 5. Multiples of 3, 6, 9, these commas aren't working very good, 12, and the answer, which is going to be 15. I know that because I know my multiples of 5 are 5, 10, and 15. So the answer to A is on the 15th day. It says which dates. So we should probably actually um, write February 15th. If you wrote the 15th day, that's not a, a bad answer, but it says on which date. So we'll write February 15th. And question B says, will, Ca will Kevin water both plants again together in February? Uh, most kids want to say yes, and if I continued my, um, my multiples, I'd go 15, I'd go 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. And if you know your fives really well, you know that it's going to go 20, 25, and 30. And so a lot of kids want to say, yeah, he'll water them again on the 30th day. Uh, but I want to remind you that it's February. It's almost a trick question. If this was any other month, the answer would be yes on the 30th day. But February only has 28 days. So it's not going to happen again in February. No, it says explain. There are only... 28 days in February. Like I said earlier, every other month the answer is yes, but with February the answer is no because there is no February 30th. Okay, let's move on. Clear my annotations and move my question up. We're on number 12. 12 reads, given any two numbers, which is greater, the LCM of the numbers or the GCS of the numbers? A lot of kids want to put GCF here, and while that could be the answer, um, they're choosing the wrong reason for that answer. Uh, L stands for least, and G stands for greatest. And so uh, you're thinking to yourself, well, uh, greatest is more than least, and that, that's true, obviously. Uh, but let's think this through. Um, I think the best way to answer 12 is to give an example. So let's go ahead and figure out two things. Let's figure out the LCM of two numbers, and I'm going to choose easy numbers. I'm going to do 6 and 9. And let's do the GCF of 6 and 9. So if I do my multiples of 6 and 9, and I'm looking for the least, if I do my multiples of 6, I go 6, 12, 18, and if I do 9, I do 9, 18, I get my answer. What's the LCM of 6 and 9? It is 18, and I just proved it. Now I'm going to do my factors. The factors of 6 and 9 Factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Factors of 9 are 1, and 3, and 9. And I'm, so those are the factors. Now I need to do the greatest of those, and the answer is 3. So while this G right here makes you think this is going to be a really big answer, factors are always going to be smaller than multiples. And so the LCM will always be greater. Because, and it's not about the word uh, greatest and least, it's because multiples are larger than factors. That's the simple answer. Multiples are larger than factors. Okay, a little bit messy. Please accept my apology for the messy writing, but the point is made. All right, let's check out the bottom of the page. I may use this. I don't know if I'll use this or not. I'm going to get it out of the way for now. I may use it. We'll see. I probably will. It says, use the subway train schedule. Number 13 reads, the red line and the blue line, the red line and the blue line, trains just arrived at the station. 
when will they next arrive at the station at the same time in blank minutes so go down to your train schedule and you've got the red line comes back every eight minutes and the blue line comes back every 10 minutes i hope you recognize this as a lcm of eight and ten the red line and the blue line the red line comes every eight minutes and the blue line comes every 10 minutes so the um the red line goes eight and then it would come back again in 16 it would come back for the third time after 24 minutes, then 32, and then 40. And I kept in my head, uh, I was going to do my multiples of 10, and I know it's going to be 40. It would be 10, 20, 30, 40. So it's going to come back again in 40 minutes, and the red line is going to come back again in 40 minutes. That's the next time they'll be at the station together. So we did an LCM of 8 and 10. We got 40. Let's go ahead and do the next one. The blue line and the yellow line trains just arrived at the station. When will they next arrive at the station at the same time? So I'm going to go highlight blue and yellow. And this is a very similar strategy, except for it's different numbers. The blue, line, the blue line comes back every 10 minutes. The yellow line comes back every 12 minutes. And I'm not going to bother with my multiples of 10 because I've got those. And I know all of everyone who's listened to this video. Those are just your 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40. So we're going to stop there. Let's do our yellows. That's our 12, so multiples of 12s are 12, 24, 36, 48. And if you're stuck on your multiples of 12, you can use a multiplication chart. The next one is 60. And I'm thinking to myself, ding, 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 because 10s are going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then, of course, 60. I don't need to list those out. I know those. So the blue and the yellow line will be back together again after 60 minutes. All right, one more. The last one's the hardest because they ask for all three. Check this out. I'll read it with you. I, mine's covered up, so i got to move my whiteboard, and then I'll read it with you. I think I can do, I think I can make space right here. Let's check this out. I can make this. All right, last question. All three trains just arrived at the station. When will they next all arrive at the station at the same time? All three of them. So what I'm thinking about here is my LCM of 8 and 10 and 12. So here's the way I'm going to do this one. Check out how I do this. And a lot of this is going to be verbal. I need to know my multiples of 8 and 10 and 12. And I'm not going to bother with my 10s because I've got those in my head. Anything that ends in a 0. So I'm going to do my 8s and my 12s. And what I'm simply going to do is I'm actually going to do my 12s. 12, could that be the answer? No, it doesn't end in 0, which means it's not a multiple of 10. How about 24? 24 works for 8 and for 12, because 24, if you do your, your 8s, 8, 16, 24, but does it work for 10? No, the, um, the blue line won't be back at 24 minutes. It will be 10, 20, 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going on my 12s, and every time I get an answer that I think would work for 8, I'm then going to go ask to see if it would work with 10, and eventually I'm going to get them all. 12, 24, would 36 work? Nope, doesn't end in 0. It's not a multiple of 10. 48, not a multiple of 10. 60, 60 works. It's a multiple of 12, and it's a multiple of 10. Is it a multiple of 8? It is not, because if I was doing my 8s, uh, I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. I'm going 8, 16, 24. I'm going to skip ahead to like 56, because 7 times 8 is 56. 8 times 8 is 64. So notice 60 does not work for 8s. For so i got to go back to my 12s and keep going. 72, does that work? It works for 8, but not for 10. 84, does that work? Doesn't work for 10. 96, does that work? Doesn't work for 10. Uh, again, if you if you get stuck here, a planner would be really helpful. How about um, 108? Does that work? Doesn't work for 10. Next one would be 112. I mean, I'm sorry, I just said that wrong. 120. Now that's going to work for 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 60... I think I said fit 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and I'm just going to go dot, dot, dot. That would work for 120. That'd be up here for 120. Now the question is, uh, is 120 a multiple of 8? And a simple way to check that is, does 8 multiply, I'm sorry, divide evenly into 120? 8 goes into 12 once. 1 times 8 is 8. And 12 minus 8 is 4. Bring down the 0. And 8 goes into 45 times. 
5 times 8 is 40. It divides in evenly. So what I'm what that means is, is that 120 is a multiple of 8. We know it's a multiple of 10, and it's also a multiple of 12. It is the first number that's a multiple of all three. The answer is 120 minutes. Okay, good job. You are done with page 39.